what is up you guys what it do welcome or welcome back to Z channel y'all we're gonna talk we're gonna rant probably a little bit you know Aunt Flo is here I got something to say I just I don't even know how to begin with it y'all because like I'm a very empathetic person and I'm a very understanding person, or at least I think, I like to think I am. Being the oldest sibling, being the mom of the friend group, being, you know, the mom of the group in general is so exhausting. It's so exhausting, y'all. Specifically, like think of like friend groups and kind of like a workplace setting. Um, and just being around people. Why do I always somehow become the mom of the group? I get it, I'm very maternal, I get it, I like taking care of people, but at like some point, do people not like wanna grow up and be their own individual and like make their own decisions? There's no specific like one thing that like sent me over the edge, but just as I'm like reflecting and thinking and you know, 2022 just ended and I was thinking, holy fuck i was so exhausted from being the mature friend or being the mom of the group or being the one that's planning everything and making the decisions and it's it's so so exhausting you know i i never really saw or like never really thought of myself as needing a social battery or like having a social battery i was like no i can handle people pretty much all the time i can socialize with people like pretty much I don't know I don't so I like I don't over socialize myself to like need a social battery but I have like a being the adult battery <laughs> like I don't know if it's just the, the people I'm surrounded by or what but like nobody wants to fucking make a decision nobody wants to be the one to be like we're doing this or I planned this like I am always the one to do it and it's so and I'm like sick of it I'm so sick of it that's like, kind of like one of my not goals for 2023 but just like something I want to work on is I just don't I'm not I'm not going out of my way anymore like I'm not the one that's gonna reach out and be like hey we should do this hey I was looking at it like no nope I know I'm a very controlling person and that's where I like constantly teeter with myself of like well I do I do like being in control. I do like having a schedule. I do like knowing what we're doing. But like at some point it's like fucking little minions just doing whatever I say and it's so exhausting and it's so like, I don't know, it like almost makes you feel not bad in a way, but like makes you feel, I don't know what the word is. Of course, I get stuck by a train. Let me go ahead and put this thing in park so I can chit chat with y'all while we wait for this train. You know, I always used to be very flattered and like, I am a very mature person when it comes to being like responsible and stuff. And so like growing up in high school, a lot of the times I was the DD. Uh, a lot of the times I didn't, you know, I wasn't doing the things to alter my mind. And therefore I constantly would just be stuck as the DD, which was fine because I'm gonna be honest, I kind of knew in high school, like, a lot of people weren't that smart and I wanted to make sure none of my close friends made stupid decisions. You know, you always hear of people either in higher grades or people at different high schools who make stupid decisions who like literally alter their life. Wow, that was a quick, that was a quick train, okay. And so in high school, you know, I never wanted my friends or anyone I knew or anyone for general, like honestly anyone to get hurt in a driving drunk accident or get, you know, pulled, I just, all that stuff. I never wanted anyone I know to be put in that predicament. You know, a lot of the times I almost felt like I was being taken advantage though at times by those people because it did feel like a lot of the times they only wanted to hang out with me when they needed someone to, you know, get them to and from their parties and stuff. I had a great time, whether they were using me or not, it was fun, it was whatever, but now it's like gone into my adulthood where I'm like, I start side-eyeing people like, we're the same age. Like, you should be mature. Like, make your own decisions. Like, my temper and my like, dealing with people is so, like getting thinner and thinner. And it's not even like, like, cause I can deal with children. I can deal with, you know, immature young adults or teenagers, but I cannot, 
fucking deal with people my age or older not making damn decisions not making like why 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 and like you know i think of myself like maybe i just need to find better friends like honestly maybe i just need to surround myself by people like around people who can make these decisions and can be a collective force and isn't just like yep sounds good mom yep let's do that mom and like i get it since i am so responsible and since i am so mature i get it i got my shit together i'm like I've, I've experienced a lot of stuff so I'm able to get shit done and I'm able to like see the bigger picture and get us from A to B but at some point it's so exhausting all I do know though is in 2023 I'm not I'm focusing on me I'm focusing on my family I'm focusing on my husband I'm focusing on us and I'm making decisions and plans for us but I cannot I can't I can no longer be the friend or be the person or be the family member or be the colleague that makes the decisions like it's i'm done that's my little rant though if you are one of those people that kind of just tag along and like don't contribute keep riding that way because i'm sure your friends are gonna soon realize you know like we got we got a little extra something on the back of the caboose and we're just gonna 2023 i'm no longer being the fucking responsible friend i'm no longer being the mom of the friend group nothing like that i'm focusing on me i'm being selfish it is what it is but if you're a friend and you live in denver or like near denver um and you're like one of those people that like can make decisions and make plans like y'all i'm like 95 percent of the time i'm not a flake before I end this video, I do want to like kind of bring the tone down a little bit and I want to like, you know, being a friend and just being a human is hard, but it is work and it's just like any relationship, you know, any relationship, you have to work for it and you, can, you can't, you can't just be taken advantage of or like take advantage of people and then not expect them to like clean their eyes off and be like oh I don't like I don't like the way I feel when I'm around you I don't like the way that blah 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 I don't you know cherish your friends you know I'm not I'm not a person that has a lot of friends that's because I didn't nourish and take care of my friendships when I had them but you know going forward I think the mistakes that I've made in my past friendships and I think the things that I learned in the past is going to help me in the long run and you know whatever friends that come into my life in the future i know just i know that they're going to be good and i know that they're going to be beneficial for both parties because that's that y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat rant um maybe it spoke to you maybe you can agree maybe you're like holy shit i'm the friend that doesn't do anything i need to start helping the mom of the friend group um or maybe it was just you know some white bitch driving her car to her in-laws for breakfast ranting about a first world problem i don't know <laughs> with that being said i will see you guys in the next video if you like these car chats i do have a playlist for them this is a newer series on my, my channel so um but if you enjoy the little chit chat car thingies um don't forget to hit subscribe that's all see you guys later